So today I'd like to show you how to, sh how to sow scallion seeds available at the garden shop that I eat. Now the scallion seeds I have here are called white Lisbon scallions, or also known as spring onions. Now these are a very good variety of scallion to sow, simply because they're a vigorous, fast growing, easy to grow crop. And they're also frost hardy, which means you can sow them in autumn time, overwinter them, and have a crop then early uh, the next spring. So what I would like to do firstly is to show you the process involved in sowing the scallion seeds and involves a little bit of ground preparation. So what we need first is a garden fork and we have one here. This also is available on the garden shop that I eat. And the process we have is, well firstly just to explain the soil that we have here has already been prepared. You can see that there's no weeds to be seen and that it has already been fertilized or farmyard manured. So what we need to do now is basically just to lighten up the soil like this, we're sticking the fork down into the soil, giving it a lift. Every foot, really, you just want to stick it down in. Okay. Now I'm just going to go halfway along this row to show you the process, maybe just to here. So you can see, at some point it can be quite difficult. But all you're doing is pushing the fork down into the ground and levering it back, raising up the soil, loosening the soil. Okay. The next step is just to break that level, removing any of the pebbles. Scallions develop small bulbs under their soil, so they need a light soil. So a sandier soil or a lighter soil is more suitable for growing scallions, as opposed to a clay heavy soil. Okay, so you can see now what we've done is we've aerated the soil and we've raked the level, removing any of the heavier rocks and pebbles from the ground. And now I just want to prepare a trench. So what I'm going to use is this plank of wood, just to give me a nice straight edge, position that there, and next taking a bamboo cane. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just step on this, and for a scallion, you really have a very light trench, you don't go down deep at all. Sowing a seed too deep can lead to failure to germinate. Scallion seeds are very small themselves, so they really are going just very shallow into the soil. I'm not sure if you can pick that up very well with the shadow. But you can see the trench itself is only going to be about one or two millimeters, sorry, one or two centimeters deep. Okay. So now I just want to show you the seeds themselves. Here we have it, the white Lisbon scallion. And with all our seeds available in the garden shop that I eat, they come in a plastic Ziploc bag, which keeps them dry. And inside that we have a brown paper bag, which keeps light off the seeds and prevents the seeds getting damp. So we'll just pour a few out into my hand here. Okay, so if you see now, we're just going to pour them out. So there's a number of seeds in here, so I'll just pour out maybe half of them or so. Oops, oops, okay, pour more out. Now, there's, that's all of the seeds in the package there. So there's what you'll get from the garden shop that I scallion seeds. So when you're sowing your scallions, you can sow them along that row. We're just gonna take a pinch full in my hand and sow them, and you can sow them quite densely in the row. Okay, so if you can just see me as I sow these. So you're looking at about one every inch or so, roughly speaking, but you don't want to be too precise because you probably have a lot of seeds to sow. So we take another pinch full, okay, and sow them, you know, maybe one or two an inch. But if it doesn't happen to pan out that way, it's not a problem. To thin out your seeds, you can do that later, your little seedlings as they grow. You can eat them as smaller uh, greens, or as you could just let your seedlings grow, even in this dense uh, spread that I have here, and you'll just get smaller scallions, which won't be a problem. Okay, so I have more than enough scallions going along the road there. The remainder then I'll just return to the bag. So that's the scallion seed sowed. Now if you were to put an, an additional row of scallions in next to the row we've just positioned, you could come again maybe around this point here, maybe about a half a foot away and sow another row of scallions just along here. Scallions as you know are very small skinny plants so you can really plant them close to each other to give a nice dense canopy uh, covering your vegetable garden. You really want to maximize space. So with that, 
your rows of scallions will be about 15 centimeters apart and when you're sewing in the rows sew nice and densely okay so the next thing i want to do now that i've sewed the row is to take the garden rake and just just lightly cover over what i have just sewed again you're only talking about two to three or one to two even one to two centimeters uh, deep is how deep you want your seeds to go finally as always give it a good pat down so you get a nice neat compaction of the soil just to coat the seed keep it nice and covered seeds germinate there like that and then we can remove this timber post I'll just put this cane to see where I finish sewing my row and next I will just water them in. Okay. And there we have it. That is the white lizard scallions available on the garden shop that I 